Hi guys, uh, this is Tony Mitra uh, on December 5th, 2015 and I have something uh, new to uh, pass to you guys, uh, an interview, a short talk with uh, scientist uh, Anthony Samsell. He is a world-renowned biochemist. His papers have been read in uh, over 60 countries and, and uh, is being translated into Chinese as we speak. He had something new to tell me today. And that is about glyphosate. Apart from everything bad that we knew about it, there is something even worse, uh, even more fundamental, where it intrudes into our living biology. I I'll pass on to our talk with Anthony Samson. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm going to tell you what I'm working on uh, currently for my fifth paper on glyphosate. Okay. Um, and um, what, uh, what will be in that paper uh, is why glyphosate can cause so many diseases and conditions. Um, I'm particularly looking at how glyphosate causes uh, interstitial lung disease. Um, but I'm also uh, answering the question uh, in that paper uh, that was raised in, uh, in our first paper. Um, there were uh, critics that said that uh, no one chemical could possibly cause all of the diseases that um, uh, we mentioned in our first paper and our second paper and our third paper. Uh, well, uh, in, in actuality, yes, uh, one chemical could cause all of those diseases and many, many more. And... Once you understand what glyphosate is and understand the biochemistry of the molecule, um, <clears throat> you can understand all the various biological pathways um, that glyphosate would affect. Um, glyphosate uh, is, um, chemically, it's uh, known as N-phosphonomethylglycine. And technically, glyphosate is... An amino acid. Uh, however, it's uh, it's an amino acid uh, that never existed on Earth. Uh, you might say that it's extraterrestrial in nature uh, because it is found nowhere uh, on this uh, on this planet. It was created in a lab. Uh, by the way, we have 20 or 21 uh, um, amino acids that are peculiar to our biology. Um, and they are the basic building blocks of life. Um, every, every protein uh, is, uh, is uh, constructed from amino acids. Or, um, uh, every cell in our body is constructed from uh, these uh, uh, 21 amino acids. And the simplest uh, amino acid in our biology uh, is glycine. Now, when you look at gly uh, glyphosate, and you compare it to glycine, well, glyphosate is um, a glycine. Um, the glycine monomer uh, is used uh, in the preparation of um, uh, N-phosphonomethylglycine, which is glyphosate. Um, what they do is they, they add a phosphonomethyl group to glycine, and that's how they get the herbicide. But um, when you look at the molecule, it is definitely an amino acid. A tenant of biology with biomolecules like amino acids is that structure determines their function. Glyphosate has about 90% of uh, the market, and that's the one that's found in virtually uh, all foods of the Western diet. Now, <clears throat> this is why glyphosate is so dangerous to our biology. It is a... Um, an amino acid, and it is a mimetic of glycine. In other words, uh, it can uh, mimic our amino acid glycine. Um, it can uh, it can substitute itself. Um, our uh, our amino acid um, uh, glycine uh, performs many many functions uh, in our biology. Glycine. Uh, it, uh, it converts many of the harmful substances, uh, including uh, toxic phenolic 
compounds that we're exposed to into harmless forms. That's one of the things that uh, glycine does in our biology. Um, it also is important in the um, uh, control of uh, gluconeogenesis uh, or the manufacture of blood sugar from our uh, protein in the liver. Um, it's very, very uh, important uh, for the control of, um, of many other amino acids uh, in the synthesis of hemoglobin and glutathione uh, and for DNA and RNA. Um, also, um, uh, glycine um, uh, is also an important part of our brain chemistry um, in uh, the, the neurotransmission pathway. Um, it, uh, it's recognized as a, uh, a neuroinhibitory neurotransmitter along with GABA. Now, glycine also makes up collagen, uh, which, which gives uh, uh, the basic structure for our uh, organs and, and glands and our, our uh, tissue and skin. It, uh, collagen forms uh, uh, structural proteins um, that uh, support our cells and make us who we are. We look at glyphosate, and glyphosate can substitute itself for glycine. Um, it has a higher elect uh, electrical potential, so if um, if glyphosate is circulating in our biology, along with glycine, um, and they happen to be in the same place at the same time, uh, glyphosate will get picked up uh, and prefer it over glycine. If we have glyphosate um, entering and becoming part of our, our tissues and our biochemistry, that sets us up for organ failure, um, for disease, uh, virtually every kind of disease. It, my, my question is like this. Apart from the food that we are eating, if it is sprayed on grasslands, if it is sprayed over forest where humans are not going to eat things, but others are going to eat insects and worms and birds and, and, and deers and, and moose and so on. So essentially, apart from uh, hurting their gut bacteria, they can uh, they can also have the same problems of the wrong chemical become, pretending to be a building block yes. in there. Yes, 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 yes. Um, glyphosate is a synthetic amino acid, and it's a, it's a mimetic of, of the uh, uh, natural amino acid glycine, and yes, all life forms will be affected. All life forms will be uh, um, negatively affected by this chemical. Okay. This chemical should not be in any biology. This chemical should not be manufactured. It should not be, be used. Uh, uh, this operation needs to be shut down lock, stock, and barrel. So there you are, folks. Uh, that was Anthony Samsel. There'll be more on it uh, subsequently. Watch this space.